welcome back. Before we go ahead, here's a quick check on how the markets did this week. The week began with sharp cuts in the indices on the back of projections that the Aam Aadmi Party was likely to win the Delhi elections. However, despite a landslide victory for AAP, the market saw strong gains for the rest of the week. For the week, the Nifty and Sensex were up about 1.5% each, with the Nifty closing just above 8,800 at 8,805, while the Sensex crossed the 29,000 mark, closing at 29,094. The rupee saw considerable weakness, declining well below 62, but witnessed a marginal recovery at the end, trading just above the 62 mark. Keeping pace with the social networking boom, banks like Kotak Mahindra and ICICI have pioneered the launch of banking services on social media platforms. Among other things, you can now transfer money through Twitter and Facebook without the hassle of knowing IFSC codes and bank account numbers. ICICI Bank is the first Indian bank and only the second bank in the world to launch this service on Twitter. While Kotak Mahindra Bank has launched the world's first funds transfer service on its Facebook platform, KPay. To talk about this, Deepak Sharma, Executive Vice President, Digital Initiatives at Kotak Mahindra Bank, joins us. Deepak, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, can you take us through how the KPay platform really works? So KPay, uh, as you would know, it's the first of its kind bank transfer platform, which enables over 225 million uh, bank account users uh, in India to make a real-time uh, fund transfer. Uh, primarily, uh, it has two legs. One is uh, <clears throat> the user has to come and register first time on the KPay platform. Uh, currently, we have enabled this uh, sign-on through Facebook. Uh, as you would know that India is the second largest Facebook market globally and we have over 100 million users on Facebook. So what we have combined is 28 different bank account uh, users combining about 225 million of those. Right. Uh, through Facebook can sign on. You can just click and, uh, and send them an amount up to 2,500 rupee. And once they, uh, they get this message, uh, where they need to click and they have to register once on the KP uh, to claim this money. But from a user point of view, I think the first thing would be security in such transactions. Can you take us through the security measures that are in place? Yeah, so as bank, we always believe that security is paramount uh, when we are talking about anything to do with money or financial transactions. Uh, we still uh, ensure there is a two-factor authentication that is in place. Uh, we have brought in the same level of security even in KPay. So whenever you have to transfer amount, uh, the first factor while is a social credential that we have allowed a Facebook-based login and password. But the second factor of authentication uh, continues to be a dynamic authentication. That means that you will get a one-time password on your phone. And unless you use that password, you will not be able to complete this transaction. Uh, so just like a OTP based transaction that we enable. Uh, so in this case, even if say somebody has uh, hacked a Facebook credential and manages to log into KPay, uh, one will not be able to complete this transaction uh, because the second factor obviously will always be the mobile number that is registered uh, with your bank account and that's where you will get OTP to complete this transaction. Is there any kind of a limit on the amount of money that you can transfer? So when we looked at this entire thing, we have put obviously a limit, which is about 2,500 rupee per transaction and maximum of 25,000 rupee for a month. Because we believe that KPay is something which replaces cash uh, as a part of a social payment tool. Can you transfer to somebody who's not on your friends list? The reason I'm asking this is that one could have business associates who are not on the friends list, but might want to transfer money to them through Facebook without adding them. Is that possible or would be possible in the near future? Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the way we would like to build this product. As I said, right now it was done for a peer-to-peer, -peer, but we understand there is a need for small payments either for merchants or vendors. Uh, and going forward, I'm sure we are going to create more use cases around KP. How much traction have you seen so far and how do you expect transaction volumes to pick up via this platform going forward? I think we have been pretty surprised and delighted with uh, the kind of adoption that we have seen on KP. Uh, because we always believe that the social uh, products are more viral and uh, 
true to what we wanted to launch this product in a very social and viral manner. And uh, as you rightly said, the product has been launched recently, but we have seen uh, a very rapid traction to the extent I can say we have about close to 15,000 people who have logged in and have uh, initiated or registered on KP. Currently, there's no cost attached to the service, but is it possible that uh, this could become chargeable once it gains more traction? Should we realize that there are areas where customers are willing to pay for a service? Uh, not necessarily for the same kind, but maybe as we add and build more services on KP, uh, we may look at uh, monetizing it. So what's the cost that the bank incurs for providing these services? Uh, so as I said, our intent here was to create a bank agnostic payment platform. And uh, I understand there is a cost associated with it. As of now, we are absorbing that cost for a transaction. You've also launched hashtag banking services through Kotak Jiffy. Uh, so as I understand, one can do a whole host of things with just a hashtag, basically a social banking account that one has to register for. Yes, so Jiffy was uh, the first of its kind product uh, which was launched anywhere in the ba uh, world, I was told. Uh, which integrates Twitter with banking. Yeah. And uh, so this was, this was the first of its kind experiment. And uh, we realized that 25% or more than that customers who have signed on Jiffy uh, chose to link their Twitter handle with uh, Jiffy account. Uh, we have launched uh, 23 different services now, what we call hashtag banking, where there are 21 different kind of uh, non-financial transactions that can be done uh, by just sending a hashtag, which again works in a completely secured manner because these hashtag banking, everything works as a direct message. That means that whatever tweet is uh, sent by a customer to the bank, uh, it's not visible to anyone. So funds transfer is not yet possible on Twitter, right? Yes, right now uh, we haven't kept fund transfer. We have only the mobile recharge and DTH recharge. Apart from all the banking uh, transactions like your mini okay. statement, balance inquiry, uh, request for a checkbook, get to know your uh, credit card transactions. So these are the kind of non-financial transactions uh, that we have enabled on Twitter. Any likelihood of launching funds transfer on Twitter as well? If I think our customers are ready to transact and do more uh, on such platform, we'll be more than delighted to provide such service in a secured manner. All right, thanks Deepak very much for joining us. Pleasure. Time for another break. When we return, we'll decode the Birla Sun Life Manufacturing Equity Fund. Mm -hmm.